to make you happy but if you're with the right person then it can make you happy if I'm bored if I'm hungry mm -hmm. I'm a cool to go in it I just holler at her land tell her I'm hungry yeah, yeah, go out yeah. to eat let her pay in it boom there are other things you could do to be happy Mr. None of your business yet this is my problem basically I think dates are cool just to, you know, when you get to know people and stuff here, yeah, just, you know, to socialise. But sometimes, yeah, certain people here, yeah, they just don't know when to shut up, yeah, and they just... I think that it depends on who the person is and where it is located. Because you can have high expectations, but then you can be in an environment that doesn't make you feel good as a person, so therefore you're not happy. It depends on the individual, you know, because I think people should give it a go. Some people may not like dates, some people do. So... Depends. Second question, who should pay on dates to the lovely lady over there? Basically, after watching the film, I have now realised that it should be a 50-50 import because the way that he left me with the, um, what's it called, the, the receipt and to pay, that was really disrespectful. So I think that it should be both import 50-50 so you can contribute something and it can be equal. So that's what I think. You want to know what I think? Do you know what? I agree with her. I really do think that things should be 50-50, you know? 
maybe I pay for the food and she pays for the drinks. Mm. Well, obviously, if I'm on the date with a girl, they should pay in it. Because it's me in it. You have, it's a privilege to go on a date with me. Well, the man's got to take responsibility, so he's got to pay, obviously. Is it okay to be late on dates? What do you think? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Because like, I might be busy, but I have things to do. So they should wait for me, innit? Where? That's what I have to say to this. Um, my answer to that is no, I don't think it's okay to be late unless you call us in advance and tell us why you're late. Because I was waiting for two hours, two hours for this guy. And when he came, he came and sat down and started looking in the mirror. So to me, that's disrespectful. So you should show some respect and tell us in advance why you're late. So no, it's not okay to be late to a date. My day, to be honest, he wasn't really late. But if he came two minutes late, I would have been gone. Because you have to take into consideration that I'm a young lady, vulnerable, and I was sitting at a bus stop, and then some guy that I did not know just come up to me and started talking to me, and brought his chair and everything, and I wasn't too keen on that one. So, lateness is a no-no. Yeah, I think it's okay if you have like a reasonable explanation for why you're late. When you're late, it shows that you don't really care. For example, if you're at an interview, you go there early because you really want to get, let's say, a job or something. So if you're late for a date, it means you don't really like to go. Oh boy. Okay. Moving on to question number four. Yeah. What is the perfect date? The only perfect date is the family. Case closed. I feel as though wherever you are, you make the most of everything and cherish every little thing. That is my motto. Thank you. My perfect day is it's just a, it's just if I get to know the person, you know, it doesn't matter the area or the place I'm eating in, you know, or how much the date costs. As long as I show the person who I am and how I feel. You know what, yeah? It's simple. It's control. Okay? That's it. Control. I think it's whatever makes you feel comfortable. What would you say makes a good relationship? Um, looks. That's it, really. I don't want to get in too deep of what makes a good relationship, but it consists of a lot of things. For example, trust, honesty, loyalty, um, humour. So I think it's just a combination of a lot of things that makes a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think yeah, a good relationship yeah, is when the female knows where to shut up. You know, sometimes, yeah, <laughs> women, mean, all they do is just talk talk and talk within a relationship there's no lies no deceit and you can trust them and no mouth i would say communication that's key do you think the character's behavior was acceptable i felt as though that i should pursue i shouldn't pursue that something something that's fake the problem wasn't even about it wasn't about me but not enough what's that about i should strive for more really right not settle for less less can't get no better than this come on man. yeah then they can this girl, yeah, she's a psycho. She's cuckoo, she's lost her mind, yeah. One minute she loves me, she's hugging on me. No one loves Next me. minute, no one loves me. Exactly, this is what I'm talking about. No one asked you anything. Everybody was being disrespectful to each other. And um, in the date, they could have been like more understanding to each other. When I just watched uh, the character with the swag and all that thing, he wasn't talking to his date. That was really bad. So I say again, communication, lack of communication. Listen here, he's a loser, super loser, it was a disaster. How can someone say that he wants to spend two years with me? First impressions is a big thing, you know, taking me chicken shot and then you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not finished here. Yeah? I don't want to be here right now because this is making me mad. You argue too much. Can you just be more please? That's it for this week. I'm your host, Mr. Nonero Business. Thank you for watching Date Debate Show. See you next time and God bless.